Friends in the Australia season two. I was enjoying it. <laughs> years of the literal engine at Corostalia series 2 episode 40 Teddy's Christmas gift for Princess Celestia It was Christmas on Tasman Soda and Teddy was just finished with the cold delivery She was visiting the Greendale set to meet with the fat controller and the engines. One of you is to visit Cantalot Castle, he said. You're to give Princess Celeste a fine Christmas gift. Twilight and the friends are waiting there in the Grand Garabingana. I've been there when I crashed in the castle wall, said Thomas. We're not chosen to do it this time, guys, said Percy. Tilly might do this work. Indeed she would. Am I to take a gift to Canterlot Castle, sir? Yes. Homeners are waiting in the Grand Gallabin Garner. The what? Grand Gallabin Garner. It's a ball for homeners to go to. Have you thought of the gift for Celestia? Yes, I have, but it's a surprise. Wish me luck. I'm coming with her, said me, the driver. Now, Teddy, let's see if you can make it this time. Teddy steamed out of Tasman docks. Up through a cloud and into he crashed her. She had to go along the mountains. I hope we can make it, she thought. She puffed over one of them. She forgot about the cliffs that were part of the mountains. She kept the wheels on the line firm. She moved along them, being careful not to look down. All of a sudden, rain was falling. A nervous fog. She had to use her lamp to see from the cab. I was leaning out, a bit carefully, to get a better view. The wind prepped our faces. It was tough seeing. Suddenly, Tilly happened to look on the line. It was Applebroom who had landed here by mistake. Oh, Teddy, said me. Teddy put her brakes on, but she couldn't slow down. Get off the line, she shouted with the wind. 
I can't get off. There's no space to walk on. Take on board, said me. Okay. She used the magic smoke and took up a broom and put her in the cab. We steamed on over a few mountains. The rain kept falling down. Tilly went through a tunnel. It was safe to go in. When she came out the other side, she suddenly saw the flooded spot. She stopped, or tried to. <coughs> she slipped on the ice, which was frozen. What's wrong, Teddy? It's his fault, sir. It's frozen. How can I cross to the other side? Get your wheels coping with the ice. Give it a try. Teddy began gripping her wheels with the ice moving carefully so she wouldn't slip. She was trying to get to the other side. The ice started to crack from the heat from her boiler. It was melting it. We got to the other side and the wheels began to fill the track once more. But she got stuck a bit. If she didn't get off a non-firm track, she might end up stuck in the cold in the water. Come on, old girl, said me. Let me try putting the sand on the rails, said Apple Broom. It might work. Okay. There was enough space for Apple Broom to get down and put the sand on the line. She was trying to get Tilly to put her wheels on it. A wheel span and squeaked. At last! Made it! She puffed. Thanks for the boast. Now let's move on. We steamed off once again, just in time to avoid the ice turning back into cold water. Rather deadly at Rather deadly cold, than cold, I remarked. The fog came in, till it kept on her lamp on the line. In the distance she saw the castle Catanot. There it is, guys, she said, great Tiddy, and there's twilight, and a friends. So how are you getting on with your wings, tired? Just fine, princess. And we still do things together. My friends and me. Well, did you ask one of the engines to come to the Grand Galloping Gala? Well, I asked Tilly to come. She sh she brought something for you to read. <whistles> oh, that's her. Here she is. Made it again with the tough wind. She didn't come off the line. Hello, you lot. Look who I found. Hello, Rapporteur. Sis. I'm glad to see you. I landed in the mountains by mistake. Tidney had to take me in her car. And... There's what, you guys? Something dreadful has happened. We nearly drowned in some cold flood. It's deadly cold. No problem that can swim in it. I got something for Celestia to read. I made it myself. I gave her the book. It was a story adventure book about 
her who visited Cantalot. It had a picture of her when she broke her phone. Oh, that's nice of you to make for me. But there's, there's this other book. It was a series, one book of the literal engine that caught Australia with a picture of Teddy in the flood. This is for Twilight. Oh, thank you, sir. It's a perfect gift I can have. Her friends had to agree. A few days later, Tilly was of small engine dogs. All the prisoners were gathered, and Percy, along with me and the fat controller, Twilight stepped up to her. Tilly, she said, you have been a great success to Tasman Sodor. Captain Cook told us the book he brought a while back ago. It taught you for being really useful. We have decided you shall become a star of everyone. He did say you living here is great. This photo book I made for you will remind you of your two visits to us in Equestria. Ladies and gentlemen and every pony, three cheers for Tilly the Little Blue Engine. They all cheered the Little Blue Engine when she presented her the prize. Thank you. said Tilly. It's nice to have my series on YouTube. Well done, Tilly. I knew you would be forgotten more. And it's nice you being my first owner. And you as my new friend, Percy. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, lass. <laughs> Australia series two celebrating 90 years. Thank you for watching it, you two people. <laughs>